Army General. Shout out to Hate Army. Your name is Hate Army? You're saying Hate Army shit. Hate Army shout out. Good vibes to the Hate Army. Shout out for Hate. <laughs> no. right. It must be all the greenhouse gases coming out of my derriere. Of course. Anyway. So where to begin today? Because we have a lot to talk about. All right. Just a quick reminder. Ladies and gentlemen, so far this week has gone really well when it comes to progress in all the games I'm playing. Chill vibes on the streams. Keeping drama out of the streams. Yes, they're having a couple attempts of idiots to try to come in here and derail stuff. And I have uh, handled it, as well as the moderators. I want to say thank you to the moderators who have always helped, also helped with this this week. Uh, we don't want any bullshit from the outside of this stream coming in. This is a place where we're supposed to focus on positivity and fun with gaming and a good social interaction. I don't care about any of the nonsense, white noise of idiots from outside of here doing stuff. I don't even want to know about it, you know? Last night we had direct derailment. People trying to come in and derail my shit. I said, shut up. We don't care. You motherfuckers. You motherfuckers. And I continued on and we made great progress in the Oblivion Shivering Isles DLC because I was able to stop that and not get derailed. So that was a good thing. And now we're almost done with the DLC. So anyway... Uh, let's keep that going. And in addition to that, obviously, I should bring up the fact that, ladies and gentlemen, we have had eight straight streams this week. That is eight straight streams where we have hit all of my support goals. That is unprecedented. I don't think we've done that since 2020 and the vest streak. Eight straight freaking streams. That's nuts, okay? And obviously, I want to say thank you to anyone who has hung out, engaged, participated, supported in any way in the last, this week, this streaming week. Obviously, this was not something that I was expecting, nor is it something that I'm expecting to continue forever. In any moment, it can end, and that's fine. But it's cool that we're keeping this momentum going. But as you know, I've learned from my mistakes three years ago when we first had a streak like this. I made the streams a lot about that. We had a vest streak counter down there. We're not doing any of that. Because sadly, when this happens, and it becomes all about that, that's literally derailing of all the content of the stream. I mean it. Like, what ends up happening is um, everyone just wants to focus on that and doesn't care about the content of the stream. And that's not what the stream is about. It's not. If this, if, if this stream right now I'm doing right now ended up being really slow, that's fine. It's okay. Had a great week so far. It's not the end of the world. The sky isn't falling. And it's not about that. It's not. It's about making fun content, meaningful content for an audience that appreciates the content I put out for them. It's not about making a ton of money every stream. It's ridiculous. Now, if it gets that level of support, I mean, that's outstanding. And I'm incredibly grateful. So thank you to everyone who has been keeping this up. And it's funny because, you know, some people have been saying that, uh, you know, it's all one person. But the funny part is, yesterday we actually hit my all of my support goals on the first stream before that particular person even contributed at all or showed up to the stream. They showed up later and it was like, whoa. We already hit all the goals. So this is awesome. And, you know, this kind of momentum is good. And here's why. We're about to head into a really epic month. I feel like the month of June is going to be very good. Why? Street Fighter VI, Diablo IV, all the new game events and releases all coming out at once. You're going to have things like Summer Game Fest, the Microsoft Press Conference with the Starfield event. There's going to be a Sony event. It's probably going to be Nintendo. And all these games are going to start releasing all their information. And then later on in the month, it's Final Fantasy XVI. So there's a lot of huge, high-profile things happening in June. To head into a month like that with good momentum is a great thing. Rather than being slow and stagnant, things are actually pretty good on streams right now. When we get to attendance, we get to engagement, and again, this week's support has been absolutely outstanding. So you keep that momentum going, heading into June, that's great. Now, again, not the end of the world if we don't, but... I just want to take the time out to say thank you. You guys have been amazing this week. You absolutely have been. And this is in every every regard, too. Even though I say, oh, we're hitting our support goals, and obviously that's that's mentioning like a tip level, we had a tremendous amount of memberships, gifted memberships, and even super chats are up this week. Like, everything is up this week for some odd reason. I don't know what prompted it because I didn't do anything different, but I'm definitely happy and grateful for it. So thank you guys so very much for that. But again, I will reiterate something. That's not what the stream is all about. So if I see people coming in here, okay, and if I see people basically doing things such as completely talking only about that or even going after and harassing people in the chat who have been supporters this week, I'm not putting up with that. It's not allowed. If I see people bothering people and stuff, it's not going to be uh, you know, allowed. Already, you know, you got to understand these idiots on the internet make up the biggest stuff so so far here's what I've heard 
You ready? This is a secret plot by all of my detractors. It's all a setup. The entire week of support is a complete setup. It's all fake support. Really. It's all fake. It's an evil plan. Get this. Between Secret Limited, Keemstar, and others. They're all plotting behind the scenes. I told you. They're a glorified crew. To give me good support this week and then pull the rug out from under me afterward. And it's all because they're making an in-depth documentary. And they're talking about it every night on Discord. They have this secret Discord group that the detractors are talking on Discord about plotting my downfall and all of this stuff. Oh my fucking Christ. FBI, open up! It's just hilarious. The shit you hear, it's like, what? And the, the sound fact is, to some extent you have to believe, some of this is probably true. I'm not saying the specifics of people plotting and stuff. I'm just saying there's people who probably actually do do this kind of like talking about the shit behind the scenes and, 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 and they believe this nonsense. They're nuts. They're fucking nuts. That's how crazy these people are. You know? But to me, I just kind of laugh, you know? And I'm like, whatever. You laugh with it, you're like, dude. And there, here's the good news. It has nothing to do with my streams, right? Today, we're going to have a great time. We're going to play games. We're going to have fun interactions. We're going to, you know, make progress, have a good time together. And that's what it is all about. It's not about any of the white noise from the outside of the stream. It's funny because people who come here and just chill with me every day have a great time. All the bullshit and drama and nonsense comes from people outside of the stream trying to ride the coattails of what I do on YouTube. And I don't care about them. I don't. I don't need to hear about this person's doing this, restreaming this, saying this. Nobody cares. It has nothing to do with me. I'm ignoring it all because that's the best course of action at this point. You know, like I said earlier this year, I realized pretty much no one on YouTube is interested in giving anyone a fair shake or, or you know, exposing any kind of truth. What they're into is stirring up drama for personal gain. So I'm not going to be involving myself with any people. We've got, trust me, this month, we've got to really focus on the games I'm playing. We have to get as far into Zelda, Star Wars, and Elden Ring as we can and finish up what we can by the end of the month because when June hits, I'm going to be so busy with Street Fighter and other games, but a lot of Street Fighter, that that's got to be the focus. I don't have time for bullshit. I'm not going to be wasting time on special streams talking about nonsense and addressing bullshit. I don't care. Let them do their own crap outside of the streams. Let them, oh, but someone's trying to talk to you. Someone wants to reach you about this or that. No one gives a fuck. Me, the least. I don't care about any of these people. Leave that shit off the streams. It's against the rules anyway. As you can see, I got it pinned on the stream. No drama from outside the stream. Let's just have a great time here on the streams together and can continue forward positively, right? Jinxy oh, cat, jinxy cat, where are you? <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I received a $50 tip from Jinx. Thank you so much to Jinx for an early large tip. Get that going. Let's get him up on the leaderboard. Now, just keep in mind that this is all an evil conspiracy, that Jinx is actually a super villain who's working in cahoots with the League of Super Detractors, and uh, they're working behind the scenes on several different downfall attempts, as well as evil documentaries with several other heinous individuals. You have a retarded family member. And they talk on their secret Discord every night about this and laugh intently about how they're going to orchestrate my downfall. Every day this happens, apparently, according to certain people. So there you go. Oh, by the way, Jinx is also Only Ice Coffee, but Jinx is also Planet Jeff at the same time, which is interesting. But they're also orchestrating my downfall. I just thought you guys should know that. <laughs> the nonsense that I hear every day is great. Anyway, thank you, Jinx, for a $50 tip. Let's see what Jinx has to say. He says, I'm excited. No, he says, let's kick off the stream right. Excited for Zelda. And uh, I got to say, these people are <clears throat> getting desperate. I don't know why I don't believe that you would actually have real supporters that love your content. No problem, Jinx. And I got news for you. That means you're gay. And again, by the way, you're only you're the, you're the same person. You understand that, right? Like, there's only one person who is contributing all this time. It's a single person contributing. So Jinx is Planet Jeff is only Ice Coffee is Vidar Viking. Remember him? 
They're all the same. Oh, by the way, Swaggins used to contribute, so you also must be Swaggins. Okay? <clears throat> and, uh, and Game Trekker. You're all the same person. I don't know if you realize this. You ever see that movie, um, starring, uh, whoa, God, what was his name? The guy, the guy from, uh, uh, I can't remember his name. Oh, John Cusack. You ever seen the movie where John Cusack is interacting with all these people at a hotel, but you come to find out that it's all just personalities in a crazy guy's head? So apparently you are the crazy guy who has like 14 different personalities. So you come to the stream and you contribute under different identity. Oh, that's the name of it is identity? Oh, you're, <laughs> you are the different identities of the same person, but you, you tip and you contribute under different names. That's what this is. It's not different people. It's all the same person constantly. So we got to clear the air there. <clears throat> okay. Let's continue. <laughs> I received a $30 tip from Jinx. And Jinx says he's not going to be around to talking too much today because he is working. He'll just be lurking around. But of course, as we talked about on today's podcast, it's funny how there's people who have a hundred different theories about who he is. And, you know, he's going to do this. He's this detractor. He's that person from the past. Yeah, I know. I know. And it's par for the course. It really is par for the course with these people. How they think and how they act is just its pretty crazy. Uh, that's why I'm joking about it. It's obviously you, it's to the point where you have to laugh about how silly the nonsense is of the stuff that they say and do. <clears throat> All right. So thank you, Jinx, for a $30 tip. And with that tip, that gets us up to $119. Okay. And you see, that's the problem is like, if I don't do it within like a few minutes of trying, I just spent 25 minutes on that. I just don't care anymore. I'm not gonna, I'm a streamer. I have to make progress. I'm not gonna fucking sit here and waste all my time. Like it's hilarious online. I'm seeing these crazy contracts. Someone built a mech. Someone built a Trojan horse. Someone built all that. That's great. And how many hours did you waste doing that exactly? Right? Like how, seriously, how many fucking hours did you waste doing that superfluous nonsense you don't need to do to play the game? And it's great you can do it, but the normal person doesn't have time to just sit here like an idiot and fucking spend 40 hours building your mech. So, I just want to make progress now, so screw this. <laughs> I just don't care. I, you know, that, I, I understand what they're going for with the building. Oh, look how creative and ingenuous it is. Yeah, except that normal people don't do that. Normal people want to, like, make progress in the game and see story elements and do a dungeon. I don't want to fuck around what you're building. I, if I want to do that, again, I'll play Minecraft or something, you know. Where it's meaningful to the universe. Here it's like, I don't want to fucking play a building game. I want to play Zelda. I, I really don't. I just don't want to play a building game. I'm interested in Zelda. That's why I bought Zelda for. He says, way to shit on creative people playing Zelda. I'm not shitting on them. I'm saying the common person isn't going to sit here for hours engineering a mech to walk through the early part of the game and blow shit up. Like, it doesn't seem like... It seems like what they want you to do is, like, spend hours and hours figuring out the crafting and developing it. And the average person just wants to play a Zelda game. I don't want to sit here and just do that all day. If I want to do that, I'll play a crafting game like Minecraft. That was the point I was making when I was criticizing the game when they first showed it off. Like, I have no desire to engineer a perfectly working platform in this world to fly up to the tower and bypass the enemies. I'm not, I'm not sitting here for four hours doing it. I have a, an audience to entertain, right? All right, and I received a $20 tip from One Minute Man. Thank you very much, One Minute Man, for your usual daily support of all of my content. And that gets us up to $145 in tips. A mere $5 away from a vest today, which would mean this would be the ninth straight stream where we hit our support goal. Amazing. Shout out to Jinx tipped $5 as vest hype baby. Jinx did not want to wait. Jinx wanted to see a vest. I was, I was, pretty, uh, I was pretty confident we were going to hit it. <clears throat> but Jinx wants to see that vest. All right. It is official. We have now hit nine straight streams where we have hit the tip skull, everybody. That is amazing. Thank you, Jinx, and thank you for everyone else because it wasn't just Jinx today. It was others as well who all contributed. And now we are going to have a poll for a vest. So let's see what poll we should do here. You don't like strong, more manly style women like Abby. Three.